John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave. John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave. John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave, but his soul goes marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. But his soul goes marching on. The stars above in heaven are looking kindly down. The stars above in heaven are eyes. Where are you going? Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The second district court of the Commonwealth and Virginia is now in session. The Honorable Mr. Morris, beside you. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you have a very sacred duty to perform today, and that is to hear the evidence in the case against John Brown. If you shall conclude without a reasonable doubt that he is guilty of the crimes of treason and or murder, then he shall die by hanging. So you must weigh all evidence carefully before you make your decision. Bailiff, please bring the accused in. We'll now hear from the opening statements from the two prosecuting attorneys. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, John Brown is guilty of treason, conspiring with slaves, murder, and kidnapping. He accused only 4,500 people to help with his raid. Luckily, only 21 showed up and two of them were killed. Two of his sons were killed. Uh, John Brown did in fact kill five settlers before entering Virginia. And he broke into an armory, which, mean, which meant he had an intent to kill or wound someone. John Brown even helped slaves escape in the Underground Railroad with Harriet Tubman, with Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. Thank you. Um, the gentleman of the jury, John Brown, is guilty of treason because on October 16, 1859, he led his army of 21 men uh, to Arthur's Ferry and had, no and had no resistance entering the city. And by October 18, his fort was surrounded by um, U.S. Marines. He was trying to steal guns and fight for anti-slavery. Before he entered Virginia, he was accused and very Mary may very well have been killed, killed by pro-slavery farmers. On his way into Virginia, he captured hostages from nearby, nearby farms. He was, attempted, he was attempting to overthrow Harper's Ferry by stealing guns and making his own personal fort. We'll now hear from the attorneys for the defense and their opening statement. Gentlemen of the jury, John Brown is innocent of treason. John Brown may have created an army tried to overthrow the government and even killed five people, but put yourself in his own shoes. Imagine being him and feeling that anger when he heard slavery was not going to be ended. You may think he didn't lose anything, but he lost his own two sons. Him, John, Brown, and seven others were captured and tortured. He wasn't doing this to hurt anyone. He was doing this to show leadership and help his own people. Although what John Brown did was wrong, the overall picture is that he was doing it for a cause, and that is all that matters. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, John Brown is innocent of treason. Look forward 100 years in the future and think of where America will be if slavery keeps occurring. Other countries will want to go to war with us for our crimes against humans just because we won't step up. Think of the amount of slaves killed on the way to America compared to the five people that were killed. John Brown is innocent because he is changing the future of America. If he did not kill these people, in their reign of supporting slavery, our country's future will be gone. All right, thank you very much. We will now hear from the witnesses for the prosecution, uh, starting with Colonel Robert E. Lee. State your name for the court, please. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Robert A. Lee. Put your right hand over your heart. 
left hand on the textbook. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you American Journey textbook? Yes. <laughs> Your witness, counselor. Where were you on the night of October 18, 1859? I was at the Harper's Ferry Armory. Um, where were you when the pearl slavery farmers were killed? I was. I was also. <laughs> Did you see John Brown kill the pro slavery owner? Yes, I did. Does the defense have any questions for the witness? The witness may be excused. The prosecution will call to the stand a family of. State your name for the court. Grandma Crow. Put your right hand over your heart, left hand on the textbook, please. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you American Journey textbook? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Counselor? How do you feel about the loss of your family? I feel, I feel very sad. <laughs> what are some things you want to tell Brown? I want to tell him that he is very mean to tell my family. He doesn't know how to do it. Did you see Brown, or can you describe him? He grabbed muscles and killed him. Does the defense have any questions for the witness? Jackson. Who's to say you were actually depressed on this certain night? Are you actually depressed? Yes, I am. Very. Do you approve of this? Can I see this proof? No. No. <laughs> All right, the witness is excused. The defense will now call witnesses to the stand. No. <laughs> Starting with Mr. Frederick Douglass. State your name for the court. Uh, Place your right hand over your heart, left hand on the book. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, American Journey textbook? Your witness, counselor. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know John Brown? He was a very good friend of mine. He used to, you know, take. Um. <laughs> what made you uh, follow along with your friend John Brown to the Underground Railroad? Well, I'm not from African American. Um, and how did he help you during the Underground Railroad? He killed white people. He killed white people. He killed white Why was ending slavery important to you? Um, would you say Mr. Mr. Brown is a good man and had great leadership? Oh yes, he was a good man, but I don't, I don't, really, I don't really think about his leadership still because he went back to him. So he wasn't really a threat. Does the prosecution have any questions for the witness? Yes. You're not excused. <laughs> if John Brown was not the uh, threat to anyone, how come he killed five uh, settlers? Is it recording on It was for, uh, it was for anti-slavery reasons, I cannot tell you. Um, 
what if he killed someone, doesn't that mean he's a threat? Uh, <coughs> yes. Uh, I love it. Okay. Objection? That is irrelevant for this case because he does not know he was he did not actually see John Brown kill people. Yes. Oh. Objection sustained. The witness is excused. The defense uh, next witness is Miss Harriet Tubman. <laughs> Please. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me American Journey textbook? Yes. I do. <laughs> Counselor, your questions. What did you, what did John Brown do in the Underground Railroad while working? He helped a lot of people. Was John Brown a good man? Um, he was a great man. He helped me a lot. <laughs> Irrelevant. Objection overturned. Where were you the night that John Brown, John, John Brown supposedly killed those people? I was at my house. <laughs> uh, does the prosecution have any questions for the witness? Witness is excused. Okay. One. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we'll now hear the final statements from the prosecution and the defense. Uh, John Brown did, in fact, John Brown killed five people, even though it was, even though he was trying to kill, uh, even though he was trying to end slavery, he still committed a crime. So, just because of the cause, does not mean that he should be excused of his actions. And for the defense? John Brown is innocent because he only killed five people for the fact of slavery being ended, and the people that brought slaves to America killed several hundred million. <laughs> Two, one. If it is deemed necessary that I should for forfeit my life for the furtherance of the of the ends of justice and means my blood further with the blood of my children and with the blood of millions in this slave country whose rights are disregarded by great, cruel, and unjust in enactments, I submit, so let it be done. Chair. Be done! <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's gone to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. He's gone to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. He's gone to be a soldier in the army of the Lord.